Good day, class. Today we are going to be finishing up the Reconstruction Era. Now this may take a video or two, but we are going to finish it today. Now, before we begin, make sure, like I said before, that you have the packet, or if you don't have the packet, you have some lined paper so that way you can take your notes and do the warm up. Make sure that your name is on the paper. Okay, so if that's all done, let's begin. Now, here is your warm up. The first question is what do you see? So look at this picture, analyze it, and basically write down what do you see in here? The second part of your question is what do you think is happening? So look at what the man in the center is saying. Look at the exact wording, how it's said, and look what else the people around him are saying, the ones who are tugging on his leg and his coat. Look what they're saying. Okay, that will help you out in um, the second part of what's happening. Now to the notes. Now, when Johnson left, and Grant was elected president. He was one of the most popular people in the country. Uh, if Lincoln had not died, Lincoln would be the most popular person in the country. Uh, but since he died, he was a martyr. And so the next person to be praised would be General Grant. Now, when he ran as a Republican, it was an easy victory. I mean, a total landslide. But the thing is, he had no political experience. But still, people did not care. They were like, you know, this guy is a war hero. This man basically defeated uh, General Lee, the greatest general of all time. And this guy beat him. So he easily got the election. And he was a popular president. But the thing is, he was actually very shy. He wasn't a you know, standing tall, chest out, chin up type of uh, general. He was more of a shy, you know, uh, shoulders sunken in, you know, type of guy. The other thing that he was very famous for was that he had, on average, 20 cigars a day. So he would light up a cigar. And once he got near finished, he'd toss that out and get a fresh one. Um, a little, um, little fun fact, he ends up dying, um, of throat cancer. So smoking, yes, does cause cancer, lungs, throat, tongue, whatever it be. Okay. So this guy's a statistic. Now he wasn't very good at picking his people in his administration. He was an amazing general. Don't get me wrong. He knew how to command people, but that's during war and on a battlefield. But when it comes to politics, you need people around you who know what they're doing. And he ended up hiring like his wife's cousin, um, some of his old war buddies. And the problem is these guys did not really know what they were doing. And they saw their um, position as a way to make money, get power, basically milk it so that it benefits them and because of that there was a lot of scandals in his uh, administration now the thing it got so bad that some republicans felt that the party the republican party was selling their influence and trying to make money off their uh as their top priority you know they would use the fact that lincoln was a republican that uh, they, the Republicans, defeated the South and they won the Civil War. So they would use that to their advantage. So if somebody who was running for politics, they'd be like, um, oh, yes, I have been a Republican. I fought in the war. I was. I even met Lincoln. And I endorsed this guy, and Lincoln would have endorsed him too. So they're using like Lincoln's name, the Republican name, to um, help somebody out. And in return, they would make money. Okay. 
Um, or they would say, you know, this policy Lincoln would have wanted this because this is something he truly probably believed in. And in fact, Lincoln probably wouldn't have, you know. Uh, again, they used his name to get what they wanted. And it seemed that Grant's administration's uh, economic policy wasn't to help the poor. It seemed to have favored more the rich than the poor. So with all this going on, some of these Republicans actually left the party and formed their own party known as the Liberal Republicans. Now, if you look to the picture on your right, you'll see a picture of Grant trying to feed his administration people. It says civil service reform. So in other words, civil service means to help the people. And as you can see, some of those people, especially that guy in the very front, it looks like he doesn't want it. He's actually upset. And that's the thing. They don't want to really help the poor, the people. They want to help themselves. So the liberal uh, Republican Party tried to run a guy against Grant. But the thing is, Grant actually won his second term. But with that second term came more scandals. Um, and it got so bad that the nation went through a long and staggering economic crisis. Um, what ended up happening is uh, the uh, one of the most popular banks, a popular and powerful bank, um, filed for bankruptcy. Because it's not like now where if uh, your money is in a bank and it gets robbed, you can still get your money because your money is federally insured and uh, your money is safe. But back then, if you put $1,000 in the bank and the bank lent out that $1,000 and then all of a sudden you try to get some of it, they may say, uh, you can only get $200 of it because that's all we have of it. Uh, so if the bank went bankruptcy, people lost their money. And this was the called, also called the Panic of 1873. Now, this led to a depression that lasted for seven years. Okay, um, this was not a good thing. All right, now, as you see from the picture on your right, uh, if you look at the bar where Grant's feet are, it says third term. And he's trying to hold on, trying to hold on for a third term, you know. But if you look on the rings, those uh, rings are what's helping him stay up. And... The thing that uh, is holding him down is what he's holding on his teeth. And if you look on the cloth, it says corruption. Uh, and those are his administration people. Um, basically, the ones who are bringing him down. You see the weights on the side. You know, they're not trying to help him. They're trying to help themselves. And, uh, you know, that's a per very powerful political cartoon right there for you. Now, with his popularity going down, the southern states started to rise in political power. And by the midterms election, the Democrats had won the House of Representatives. That means they won a majority of it. And when it came to the Senate, they didn't win it. They didn't take over it. But they uh, did gain some ground on it. Um, they were still under 50%, but they were pretty close to it. Now, with the scandals of the Republican Party, the Democrats start taking over the government. Now they start blocking some stuff that the Republican Party is trying to pass. And this is truly the beginning of the end of the Reconstruction era. Now your midpoint question is this. Think back to what we talked about uh, in class and in the last like, you know, five videos. Um, do you think that the Reconstruction was a good idea, yes or no? Why or why not? Be sure to justify your answer. Now, since you're watching this video, you actually have an opportunity to like pause this part and watch some of the videos on another tab. And that way you can get an idea of more or less if you forgot what the Reconstruction was and um, the different things that was in the Reconstruction. Okay, um, and that way you can answer the question a lot more thoroughly. Okay, 
So the writing prompt is, as you see right there, I believe that the reconstruction was a good idea, bad idea, because, and state your opinion, okay? And remember, this is an opinionated piece. So the only way you can be wrong is if you don't answer it, you copy off someone else, or your answer is just so left field, it cannot be justified. You know, if you bring up Daffy Duck and Donald Duck and uh, you know, Looney Tunes or whatever, it has nothing to do with this. You can be talking about baseball, football, whatever. It has nothing to do with reconstruction. So that's one way it could be wrong. Okay. Um, so go ahead um, and answer the question. And then be sure to watch the second video to the reconstruction. And uh, that will, the second video will be the end of this reconstruction era.